morning guys happy monday welcome back to a fresh new week's vlog it's not the morning it's not the morning <laughs> we had a lazy morning it is ten past two oh we weren't that lazy were we we had a little bit of a lion um the asda delivery shop came we've been playing around with this monkey we are sorting out the vlog at the moment but we had to re-render it because we always watch through it before we put it up and on one of the title pages instead of putting the day like Dan usually does down here he had accidentally left it so it said my title across my face so that wasn't very good so now we had to just quickly change that and re-render it which is taking forever but soon we will be able to put it up on the channel so if you've watched it already I hope you enjoyed it playing with this monkey haven't we Where's your ball, Poppy? Where's your ball? Where's your ball? Give it to Daddy. Give it to Daddy. Find it. He's like, I know you've got it now. When she barks like that and stuff, don't panic. It is just her playing. Hey, it's just you playing, isn't it? But this one has got the doctors. Not me, not me for once. This one has got the doctors at ten past three just to check up on his hernia um, and how it's healing and stuff. And he's going to drop me and this one at the PA. Okay, because for once it is not raining. I can see the sunshine. Um, but I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog if you've watched it. And we are going to start getting ready to head out and do some things. I need to pop to the post office too. Got a couple of parcels to post. But I hope you're all well. Where's your ball, Poppy? Okay, ball. Give it to Daddy. Give it to Daddy. Poppy. Bobby, give your ball to Daddy. She's like, no, because you keep hiding it from me. Where's my puppy girl? Poppy? Where's Daddy's girl? Where's Daddy's girl? Poppy, come here. Take come it here. to Daddy. Come here. Take it to Daddy. Someone just turned up at the door for Dan. What you got? Oh, I've got magic mouth for once. Yeah, for once. I'm replying to comments on um, the week before last vlog. What did you get? Wow, well, you know what it is, don't we? <laughs> Poppy thinks it's for her, look. She's like, yeah. Solo. We haven't actually watched it yet, have we? No, we were gonna go to the cinema to watch it, but then didn't. I don't know why, actually. I think we just got busy, didn't we? Yeah. But as you will know, if you watched last week's vlog, Dan's sister is coming to stay this weekend. So we ordered it, pre-ordered it, didn't we? Yep. Because um, it doesn't actually come out until tomorrow, but um, because we pre-ordered it, we get a day early. Pre-ordered it, so it got delivered today, and we're going to make Dan's sister sit and watch it with us this weekend. She loves Star Wars. No, she doesn't. She hates Star Wars. Poppy dog, your auntie Laura's coming this weekend. Where's your auntie Laura? You love your auntie Laura, don't you? Happy?
it was quite busy because all the kids are coming out of school so um, a lot of people walk through the park to get home like the older kids and then a lot of the mums bring the younger kids for a run around after school down here so it's quite busy so I just took the chance on a quiet bit to get some footage of me talking because I'm a bit embarrassed Here's the madam Poppy, this way This way Good girl She's going nuts I'll get some more footage, two secs <laughs> Poppy dog. Where is she? <laughs> Poppy dog. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Go on then. Poppy Dog has been walked. Dan has been to the doctors. He's just in the post office now. Posting off your orders. Um, which is very good because I don't think I could stand up for that long. Bless him, he went in to me and to get some electric. That's all our job's done for today now. Um, I might get on with the case when we get home. I'm not too sure. I think Dan's going to do the washing up, so maybe I could do a case. Or I might actually flick the hoover around because that might help him a bit more than me doing another case. Um, did you have a good walk, Poppy Dog? Did you have a good walk? You met a new friend. She met a new friend called Frankie, which incidentally is Dan's brother's dog's name. And it was his first ever walk. And oh my God, he was so, so cute. I wanted to put him on my pocket and take him home. And Poppy loved him. Should we persuade daddy to let you have a brother? Shall I ask for a puppy for Christmas? You'd hate it, wouldn't you? You'd hate it. <laughs> so now we're just waiting for Dan to come out of the post office. Um, and then we'll go home and do a few more boring adult things. We are home now. We've been home for a little while. Um, clearly this is not the best angle for it, but never mind. It is 10 to 6. Um, I was going to do some bits and bobs, but then got told to rest because I was doing too much. Um, and now my legs feel like I've run a marathon, even though I have hardly done anything and it feels like they are all tight and painful and I'm truly suffering so I am led on the sofa Poppy is here I'm whatsapping one of my friends Dan is in the kitchen watching the drifting whilst he does some washing up and I think I might play on The Sims in a minute but look at this, I don't know if it will, but I've got to show you if it does. So we watch these Disney vloggers called Luke and Rich. Their channel is called LR Dreaming and they are in a place called Wild Florida today. I take it it's quite near Walt Disney World because that's where they are at the moment. Um, they've been over there for quite like a, I don't know, like a week, week and a half maybe. But they've gone to this place today called Wild Florida and seen like all the alligators and things. And also look at this guy. Oh, I'm so jealous. Look how close they are to him. 
and it's funny because apparently his name is actually Guy the Sloth, Guy the Sloth. I've got another picture. These are off their Instagram stories. I just um, tagged them on my Instagram saying, I'm so jealous. Look how cute he is. I'm so jealous. So now I want to go to Walt Disney World even more because I'll be that close to a sloth. But just wanted to come on and show you that those sloth pictures because they're so cute. Haha, <laughs> I'm in a sloth t shirt. It says sleep all night and nap all day. Um, anyway, that's you updated. Um, I'll catch you in a bit. Hi guys, it is a lot later now. It is quarter to 11. Um, Dan is up early tomorrow for work. So we are off to bed because I'm tired, Dan's tired, and it's cold. So we want to go up and have a cosy, don't we? Yeah. Um, but we shall see you tomorrow, no doubt. Um, me in the morning, but Dan will be home in the afternoon. But I hope you're all okay, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I'm actually lying, it's not morning. Um, it's, oh, I didn't realise it was quite that late. It's 10 to three. Um, Dan's on and early at work, so he'll be home in roughly an hour-ish. Um, finishes at four. Um, I haven't got much done today, if I'm totally honest. <laughs> I woke up this morning in quite a lot of pain, um, so I'm not feeling too fabulous. Um, however, I did get a delivery this morning. Um, I ordered myself a lovely new coat from Simply Be. Um, last winter, I it was one of those things where I've never been a sort of person to have like a big warm coat. I've never really been a coat person. I've never needed to. Um, until I got diagnosed with fibromyalgia, I didn't realise what it was, but I've always been one of those people that gets really warm really easily, and I've never really needed big thick winter coats um, until last year, um, and obviously where we go out with Poppy and stuff as well for WALKs, um, I then discovered that I did need a nice thick winter coat because it did get quite chilly um, but I've never really needed one up until last year um, obviously I've had coats just not big thick ones I've never needed the warmth um, people with fibromyalgia they tend to feel extreme extremities extremities of um, weather more so than normal people I guess you would explain um, and obviously where I now rely on my mobility scooter and or a wheelchair um, to get around I am not moving around or walking so I don't tend to get as warm as I used to um, and I feel the cold a lot more than I used to now as well um, well last year when I needed a coat it was one of those things where I needed one so I just kind of made do and got the first one that I could find. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just a plain black waterproof coat with like a furry lining from Mountain Warehouse. Um, it's really warm but it's nothing special. Um, first world problems, I know I'm very lucky to be able to have a coat like that. Um, but I wanted a nice coat, like a feminine coat that I could wear this year especially as we are going to Disney um, and then obviously throughout the rest of the winter too um, so what I might do is use the mountain warehouse one as like our going out like dog walking coat um, and then this one as my like everyday kind of thing um, it was quite pricey it was 65 pounds which for me is quite a lot to spend on um, one item of clothing but it is look I haven't opened it yet but from the catalog it does look really really nice um, and on the model online it does look really lovely and I had ummed and about it for ages about whether I should get it or not 
Um, and then the other day I just thought, oh, F it, I'll get it, I'll treat myself. Um, so I'm going to try that on in a little while. Um, if I don't like it, obviously I will send it back. Um, but I would like to like it because I think it's really nice. It's like a khaki coloured parka coat with like a faux um, the, like lining inside it's really like soft and snuggly um, and I think it will be perfect to wear around Disney um, and also you know every day um, so fingers crossed I like that um, I haven't been doing much I'm just watching some YouTube vlogs I'm currently watching um, Louise Pentland's newest weekly vlog um, and then I've got a couple of my friends YouTube videos I need to watch to catch up on. Um, yeah, I'm just having a chilled out one today, I think, because I'm really not feeling too special. Um, I don't think that there will be too much footage, but I'll see what I can get for you. But I just wanted to come on and say good morning slash afternoon. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's it really. Stop leaking. We had done well, all until that last bit. You couldn't have held it in, could you? <laughs> um, but yeah, it is Bake Off tonight, so um, it's Spice Week. In our shopping, we originally ordered a um, sticky toffee pudding. Like, was like that was the nearest thing that we could decide on that we both liked that wasn't necessarily spicy but it was along that sort of line and Dan got some custard and I got a little bit of cream to have with it as a nice treat don't you dare I know exactly what you're about to do and if you do it you'll get taken off my lap now stop it, lie down um, but they substituted the blooming sticky toffee pudding and they gave us a millionaire's cheesecake, so which we, we were fine with. Um, it looks lovely. Um, I'm quite looking forward to eating it. However, it's not really spice week, is it? But never mind. So yeah, we've got millionaire's cheesecake for spice week. And we're having a mini roast dinner tonight. We're having roast beef, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I love a good roast, especially when it's chilly. It's one of those days where it's like really sunny outside, but um, really chilly. It's one of my favourite types of weather. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I might do a little bit of work on a case when Dan gets home from work, but I'm not 100% sure because I might just rest. We'll see what he says. When you're not being naughty, you're the cutest thing in the whole wide world. I never thought it'd be possible to love a little little doggy like you. You're my best friend, aren't you? Mm. You're my best girl. Yes. You're my best girl. Mm. We love you so much. <gasps> What's that? Is that the postman? Go see. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is now 10 to 5. Dan is home, his bag's there. He's just taking off his coat. Talking of coats, I like my coat. <laughs> I want to try it on properly with um, um, a t-shirt and not just like pyjamas and stuff, but I think I very much like it. But this one's home. Um, someone's very pleased to see her daddy but just as Dan was pulling up outside the Amazon delivery man was outside and um, he was like parcel for number blah 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 um, and Dan was like yeah that's us and this guy's just turned up it's the most incredible like shaggy haired soft softy sloth but I haven't ordered him and Dan hasn't ordered him and Poppy hasn't ordered him 
um, and there was no note. It just said to Lydia Laver, but didn't have like a note in it or anything to say who it was from. So now I'm on the quest to see who this beautiful, beautiful little snob is from. Poppy likes him, but she's not going to have him because he's mine. Poppy, you like him, don't you? Who is it? Yeah, Poppy is very keen on him, but um, I don't know who he's from, so I need to find out. So I'm going to do a little Insta video and see if it's from one of my lovely um, customers or friends on Instagram. So I'm going to have a little see and I'll let you know. The mystery of the secret sloth. Good morning guys, it is hump day, happy Wednesday. Um, two things for you, number one, my coat fits and I love it, it's a keeper, I'm very happy. Number two is um, Sloth, who is now called Sheldon, is from one of my um, followers on Instagram and we've turned into friends, we talk quite a lot. Her name's Louise, I don't know if she watches these vlogs, but she's very lovely. Um, she lives, actually, it turns out she lives quite close to us. She's in Oxford, or Oxfordshire area. Um, so she's actually not too far away from us. So we are planning on, um, at one point, possibly after Christmas, having a little meet up or something. But um, she went to Cotswold Wildlife Park, where we went to a few weeks ago. Um, and as joke I said to her, you need to make sure that if you see the sloth, you need to send me a photo of it. Um, and she did, and she sent, um, she tagged me in a photo on Instagram and said, Lydia, we found the sloth. Um, and then she sent me that from like via Amazon as a little random act of kindness um, to cheer me up because she knows I haven't been feeling very well recently with my conditions and stuff so um, that was very much appreciated so the sloth mystery is solved however if anyone else wishes to send me random sloths in the post I don't mind joking don't don't send me anything. I have this morning bought down a thicker blanket for the sofa because last night we got all snuggly. We even put a little um, electric heater on. Um, hence not ending the vlog because we turn all the lights off and watch TV um, with just a couple of lamps and the heater and some blankets and snuggled up on the sofa and then we got really really sleepy didn't we we just had to go up to bed <laughs> so I didn't end the vlog last night so apologies for that um, Dan is going to start getting ready for work in a bit aren't you? Um, he made us a nice iced coffee this morning with our breakfast an iced caramel latte are they lattes yeah. um iced caramel latte um so i'm going to have a little slurp all of that and get ready i'm going to leave at the same time as dan this morning um when he leaves for work and take madam out for a w a l k because it is um sunny outside chilly but sunny so i'm gonna test out my new coat i think <laughs> um but yeah so that is the morning so far i hope you're all okay um i'll probably catch you now when we are at the park if i'm honest and you'll probably see this handsome face later on when he gets home from work did you sleep a bit better last night I had a really bad um, kind of like pain attack last night just before I was going to bed. I felt like um, all of my skin was like under my skin was like tingling and it almost felt like I had like bugs crawling over me everywhere. 
um, but with like needles for like feet and it just made me want to like peel my skin off it was so frustrating um, and it was horrible I couldn't get comfy I couldn't get to sleep um, so I did offer to go and sleep in the spare room but this one wasn't having any of it um, so he um, I took some extra painkillers which I don't usually take um, when I say extra I didn't like overdose <laughs> some like emergency painkillers I guess um, and this one um, calmed me down and gave me a cuddle until I fell asleep so that was very much appreciated you didn't sleep very well no? sorry it's golden this one it's our wedding anniversary tomorrow isn't it? Five years married. Would it be easier going to prison? <laughs> um, so anyway, I will catch you later at the park. See you in a bit. Bye. We made it to the park. I'm in my new coat. It's so cosy and furry. So furry. <laughs> um, Poppy's having a good run around. It's a beautiful day. It's so sunny. It's not too cold, but it's chilly, if that makes any sense. Look, here's Madam. What are you doing? Just having a wee mum. What are you doing? Not one of these. Sit down then. Sit. Good girl. Go on then. I was going to take you through the rose gardens but there's a big group of mums in there with their children having a little picnic and I don't trust Poppy with me, just me, not to go over because she knows I'm not as quick as Dan so I avoided it for today <laughs> but we are just about to go over the bridge It's Poppy Dog Poppy dog! This way! And start to head home because I would like to go to the shop on the way home and get myself a little treat. Okay, it is later now. We are home as you can see. Um, it is a lot later now. Um, basically, went round to the shop. Oh, my glasses are steaming up went round to the shop on the way home which I usually do and it's not an issue um, but we got to the shop, went in, got the stuff I got myself a bag of quavers and a drink and um, got round the corner and my battery ran out and like not just like it started slowing down so I was like oh gotta make it home it just ran out it was just like it wasn't going anywhere I was trying to push it with my leg to see if that would go any further and it just wasn't having any of it I was literally around the corner from home however not it was like close to home but not close enough that I could walk it push my scooter and hold Poppy at the same time I couldn't have walked it even if it was just the fact of walking it let alone pushing a scooter and having a dog on the other hand as well like it just wouldn't have been possible and I tried phoning everyone like my nan's away in the Lake District for her birthday um, my granddad I couldn't get hold of my granddad um, 
my auntie is working, like I just couldn't get hold of anyone, I don't really have any fr like local friends, um, which I know sounds really sad but <laughs> I don't really have any like locally friends um, and um, <laughs> Poppy's under here look, really sleepy. So um, I pulled over next to like a little school and I downloaded Uber because I didn't have any cash on me either so I, I couldn't just get a taxi So I, um, and I only had like my card, not Dan's card, not like our joint card. Um, so basically I was effed basically. So the only thing I thought I could do was download Uber um, onto my phone and obviously because you pay via the app um, and because we got Uber Eats the other night I had an Uber account and it's got our joint account bank account on it so I thought to myself yes that's the only thing I'm, I'm gonna be able to do and luckily this guy turned up and he was really really like lovely and he helped me get the scooter in and out of the car he, like, he basically did it for me um, and he was really cool about having Poppy in the car, I think it helped that she had her like assistance dog um, harness on because I knew I was going into the shop on the way home um, but he was really cool about having her as long as she wasn't set on the seats which is fine um, so she sat like in between my feet in the back um, and he was really friendly and it helped me and stuff and I just felt really stressed and I had a massive anxiety attack um, and he was like really really sweet bless him I don't think he really understood what was going on but he tried his best but it was just a bit of a kerfuffle so now I'm absolutely shattered um, and this one's tired as you can see so I think we're gonna have a little snuggle and I might have a little sleep on the sofa because now I've had that anxiety attack and also because I tried to push my scooter a little way as far as I could like I think I'm just completely ruined now until this evening so I'm just gonna have to rest but I think this evening I'm gonna have a nice bath and get down to wash my hair so that might help with um, the pain and things. It didn't help that I was in pain already, so basically I've completely bodged my body over, completely overdone it, but can't be helped. But thank goodness for Uber. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I think we're just going to have a little snuggle and a little sleep. Look at this one. So, um, it is now six o'clock, just given Poppy her dinner, um, I have left the Big Bang Theory for her on the telly, um, and as you can see, I am in the bathroom, um, I'm about to run myself a nice bath, because Dan said when he gets home from work that he wouldn't mind at all washing my hair for me, which is very nice, bless him, um, I do not have the strength to do that today, um, and I feel like a, you know, a nice soak and a hair wash. So he said he'd do that for me. Um, and then that will make it ready for the weekend too. So that's good. Um, so I've just given Poppy a dinner and I'm going to get in the bath and have a nice soak and wait for him to get home from work. so it is nearly 11 o'clock and I just thought I would pop on to say good night um, 
Sorry the lighting isn't brilliant. Come on then. Um, I completely bodged up what time Dan was working. I thought he finished at six, so I got in the bath so that I'd be ready in the bath for when he got home so he could wash my hair. Um, it got to like half past seven and he still wasn't home. So um, obviously after being on edge from earlier, I rang him just to see if he was okay. And I was like, where are you? He was like, I'm still at work. I don't finish till eight. I started at 12, remember? And I was like, oh, balls. So I um, started crying because I'm a complete mess. <laughs> Um, so I ended up attempting to wash my hair myself. I don't think I've done an awful job, but it could have been better probably, but we'll see how it goes. Dan brushed it through for me when he got home um, and he bought us home a naughty KFC for dinner because um, by the time he got out of work, it was late. He hadn't had dinner. I hadn't had dinner and I couldn't be bothered to put the oven on and stuff and wait for it to warm up because our oven's rubbish and takes forever. So I just said to him, please can you just get something on the way home because I'm in a mood, I've had a rubbish day and I just want some dinner and a snuggle on the sofa. So that's what we did. Um, but let's just say today has been a bit of a write-off for me. Chronic illness life. Don't you just love it? But anyway, um, I will see you in the morning. <laughs> good night, Poppy. You want to say good night? Come here. Come here. Say good night. No licking. Say good night. Say good night. Today has been a write off, but I was a very good girl and helped my mummy. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Um, it has just gone 7 o'clock. Sorry I haven't vlogged up until now. I haven't felt very well today at all. Just come up. Um, so me and this one have been having a cuddly day. And it's been lovely. You've been looking after me, haven't you? Hey. Today is my and Dan's fifth wedding anniversary. Can't believe we've been married for five years already. It goes so quickly, it's scary. Um, if he can, I'll get Dan to add a couple of cute pictures of our wedding in when he's editing this so you can see. Um, we have put a couple in one of our vlogs before, I think, but we keep to have a couple on our actual anniversary. Yes, me and Daddy have been married for five years. I know, crazy. I was just thinking what we'd be doing five years ago today, like from now, seven. Probably having drinks and dancing, eh? Having a little jig. Maybe I'm having our first dance, slicing our cake. I don't know. Um, sorry about the weird lighting. As you know, um, the light in the corner has broken. We replaced the bulb, but it's not that, so we think that it's the light that's gone. We've had it for a good few years now anyway, so we're not too bothered. We just need to, um, we've left it in the corner to remind us that we need to replace it. Um, when we put the big light on in here, it's not particularly bright because it's an energy saving bulb. So I've got all the little lamps on and I'm sat on the floor in front of the coffee table with the lamp in front of me to, so hopefully you can see okay and it's not too grainy um but yeah dan has just got home from work he is upstairs he's meant to finish at four but didn't get out till gone six because something happened and got all a bit busy for him bless him um he's now just getting changed and sorting some bits upstairs as auntie laura is coming to stay tomorrow yeah um Dan's sister, younger sister Laura, is coming to stay. 
Um, Dan's got three siblings. Dan's the oldest. Then there's um, Sammy, who's just got engaged to his now fiance Lucy. Um, and then there's Jamie. Um, so there's three boys. And then there's Laura, who's the youngest. Um, so she's coming to stay with us. Um, she comes and stays every so often for a weekend or so. Um, I think she's arriving tomorrow at about three-ish. She gets the train. Um, and she's coming from Kent, and she doesn't drive. Um, so she gets the train, and then she gets a taxi up here. So I will no doubt be absolutely useless for while she's here because Poppy would much rather cuddle Auntie Laura than me, I think. What's Daddy doing upstairs? Sorting out the air is bless him. Um, also, if you can hear that awful noise in the background, it is the washing machine. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would come on and say howdy doody because um, I haven't yet today. Um, if I'm honest, our plan for the whole day has gone a bit kaput because of Dan finishing work late. So we were going to um, have dinner and then. Um, sort out the bedroom and stuff together but I am not feeling very well at all and he has got out late so I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for dinner yet I, but I'm not really that hungry so I might just have some toast or something. Um, it is my Humira day today so I've got that out ready so it's not cold for when I do it. It, literally haven't really been doing anything today. I did get a bit of magic mail that I wanted to share with you though. Bobby, can I put you down in my lap? Um, one, another one of my Insta friend, Insta Disney friends, um, Claire, <laughs> she has, um, just recently got diagnosed with fibromyalgia like I have, um, so that's quite interesting. Um, and we've been talking um, a lot for a little while now. Um, she's really, really lovely. She's from Wales. Um, and she's done a couple of pickups for me for things I couldn't find here, like Disney merch. Um, well, anyway, her and her partner, when I don't know if they're married, I think they're married. Partner, husband. Um, went on a little staycation. Um, a few, um, a couple of weeks ago, and she said that they got me a little present, which I was so thrilled with. Um, I actually bought something off her as well. It was a beautiful um, Disney Christmas plate, um, which I actually bought, and I was going to give it to my mum as part of their Christmas present. But it turned out today with these goodies, and Claire had packaged it so well. Um, but the postman or the sorting office or Royal Mail in general um, must have literally been throwing the parcel around because it was smashed to smithereens. Um, it's in three big bits and then there's like about 15 or 16 other little bits so I'm really really sad about that. I'm gonna see if I can salvage it but I just don't think it's gonna be possible. Um, so that was the main reason she was sending me something. However, when they were away, they popped into a larger Primark than theirs, I presume. Um, and she sent me a picture of this baby and said, um, have you seen this? And I said, oh, funnily enough, my sister-in-law has picked me one of those up and she is bringing it with her in a couple of weeks when she comes down. But um, Claire wrote me a little note and said that she had already purchased it for me, bless her, but she knows that I'll put it to good use. And Dan is actually really chuffed because it means that he can have one as well. So Laura's coming with one of these tomorrow for me. And then I've got this one. But I'm not complaining because it says sloth. It's actually a hot water bottle. It comes with the hot water bottle in him. What are you doing, Pop? Oh, I sat on your toy. Sorry. Um, it actually comes with a hot water bottle in it. It's a nice size. I don't know if it says 1,000 millilitres. That's a litre, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's a litre. Um, but it's a sloth hot water bottle. And I just thought it was 
way too cute. Um, Laura sent me a picture of it and I was like, yes, um, pick me one up right now. <laughs> um, and now we have two, but I am not complaining one little bit. Well, it's been a week for sloth, hasn't it? And also, they sent me this lovely thing, which stupidly I've left on the shelf. Bear with me. Sorry, the camera cut me off there. Um, so yeah, they picked me up the sloth hot water bottle, which I've got another one coming off tomorrow. And then this little guy, a little glass sloth. It's probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen. I don't know who's gonna fake it. like okay, there you go yay a little grey glass sloth he's super cute so thank you so much Claire for sending me those thoughtful goodies you definitely didn't have to but um it's really picked me up today on a day when I was feeling very rubbish so thank you so much um the washing machine is gonna start to get even noisier in a minute so I'm gonna end it here for now um but I might check in with you again a bit later um or we have got quite a bit to do this evening Laura coming tomorrow so if not I'll check in with you tomorrow but I hope you have had a nice day if I don't see you again and I will see you tomorrow guys and happy friday hope you're all doing very well um what i thought i would do is we are imminently expecting the arrival of auntie laura auntie pop pop where's your auntie laura is she coming soon um but we are up to quite a lot this weekend with her we're going to be going here there and everywhere um, including like a trip to Bristol and um, going to pop into town and the outlet village and I just thought it would be good to vlog so what I thought I would do is come on now um, and end this week's vlog um, and then next week's vlog will be today through to Tuesday I believe Laura's leaving um, so it will be like a long weekend with Auntie Laura vlog <laughs> um, so I thought that would be a bit more interesting than doing another week of me just here there and everywhere um, so um, I thought I would just come on this morning and end this one and explain what was going on it then also gives me the rest of next week to recover from doing lots of things this weekend so um, and I will need that because I feel like I'm coming down with something now as it is let alone after a weekend of doing things and traveling places in the car and being in my mobility scooter and blah 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 so um, I hope you all understand and um, thank you very much for watching this week's vlog I hope you all enjoyed it um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already we are only six subscribers away from giving away that frame um, so yeah make sure you subscribe and um, subscribe to notifications from us as well so that you can be notified every time we upload one of our weekly vlogs um, but for now I shall leave it there I shall love you and leave you um, I hope you're all very well and I will see you next week Poppy, you want to say goodbye? Want to give kisses? Not to me. <laughs> anyway, love you and leave you. Goodbye. Not you. <laughs>